what we have for our kung fritters is thyme, celery, scotch bonnet, or goat pepper, sweet pepper, and onions. We have about one whole item each. You can gauge it for you and your family as well. Our kunk for the kunk fritters, and this is fresh kunk. We're just gonna chop this up in the food processor as well. So our ingredients, scotch bonnet, sweet pepper, thyme, celery, and she just added some salt. And we're gonna blend it all up now. You wanna scrape down as you go. We like our kung fritters a little bit chunky. We're cutting up the kunk now to put it in the food processor to make things a bit easier. We're gonna chop up the hard pieces first. That's the pieces with the skin on it. And then we're gonna chop up the softer pieces later. So these are the softer pieces. This is almost the consistency you want. We're gonna chop it up a little bit more for nice and kunky kunk fritters. Like, uh, big pieces like that might still be in it. You want to get a bigger bowl because we're mixing all the herbs and the kung together now. Mm. We got tomato paste as well and some flour that you want to add to it. You want to add tomato paste, flour, and seasoning, just salt to taste. mix it all in and so far we use two cups of water three cups of water so far
It just depends. The amount of water you add depends on how uh, the consistency that you want your comfort is to be. Ashley, you couldn't come rest here, your mother. You wanna get your oil heated in preparation to fry your conch fritters. Fry one to see how it is. Taste it to see if you want more seasoning. And we found out that we actually want more salt in ours. Like for the sauce. For our conch fritters, we're gonna use braised hot sauce, mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise. Is that enough? What about now? Good. Then you want to add your mustard. Eyeball it. I'm in a Caribbean household, we don't really measure. <laughs> then you want to add your ketchup. Eyeball again. A lot of ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And hot sauce. As much pepper as you want. Oh, the and then you just mix it up. And that's your beautiful comforter sauce. The Bahamian way. Want to mix this very well? Want to make sure everything at the bottom is mixed in? You just want to add a little bit at a time, and you'll know that they're almost done when they start to flow to the top. Then you can flip. Our first batch came out pretty nice. And they're nice and comfy. And they're nice and comfy. 